Grandma, I can't play rugby right now. I gotta make these tutorials. We'll play afterwards. Just get out of my room. What's up, guys? Welcome to your 10th Android tutorial for the new boss. And again, my name's Travis. What we're gonna do in this tutorial is basically finish up our Java class, get our application running for the most part, and, you know, let's just hop right into it. Let's uh, do a quick overview of what we want our application to do. Basically, we're going to have this text view change according to whatever our counter variable is. And our counter variable is going to be added to or subtracted uh, by one, whether the sub button is clicked or the add button is clicked. So let's set up our uh, whatever is within our on click for add button. So we're going to do that uh, within this onClick method, again, these two brackets. And when our application starts, our counter starts at zero. So what we want to do is when the add button is clicked, we want to add one to this counter object or this counter um, variable for the most part. So what we're going to say is we're going to say counter and we're going to set this equal to, and you can do this a few different ways. You can say counter plus one, which is a bad way to program. Um, but basically what this is saying is whatever our counter variable is, which is zero, we're going to add one to it, and then that's what our counter variable is now going to equal. It's kind of confusing, especially if you guys are huge into math. You're like, what is this? That's impossible. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do it a different way. You can also say plus equals one like that, and that will just add one to the counter variable. Or you can also, you know, this is beneficial for doing like, you know, if you wanted to add 10, uh, that and t add 10 to the to the counter integer variable. But also we can do if we're just going to add it by one, which we are, um, we're, we can use plus plus. So basically, that's going to add one to our counter um, variable. And again, counter starts at zero, so every time the add button is clicked, it's going to add one to the counter variable. So let's develop uh, or go into our unclick for the sub and do the same thing except subtract. So we're going to say counter minus minus and that's going to subtract by one. Alright, the only other thing we need to do is we need to change the display. Again, we have a text view uh, called display and it has the reference for uh, basically that text within our XML. So we want to change that. What we can do is we can, again, since we imported the text view class within Java, we can use some of those methods from the text view class on our text view. So what we're going to do is just type out our variable name, which was display, and we're going to hit dot. And again, you can use all these methods. And there's a method called set text that we're going to use. And that's going to change the text or basically set whatever the text is going to be. I was going to scroll to it, but okay so that's what we're gonna use we're just gonna click this and within here we can do something like uh, your total is space and then end your end your quotations and then hit the plus symbol and put counter and basically that's gonna convert counter into you can think of it as a string again strings are for words and such like that so basically it's going to say your total is plus whatever the value of our counter is. So that's that's pretty neat. And uh, that's what we're going to use. So now that's going to change the text or set the text of our display that we we have set up. Hopefully that made sense. I know I'm kind of going quick through this as well, but uh, you know that's that's how it's going to work. That's how our application is going to work. It's going to set the text to quotations your total is space and then whatever our int variable called counter is equal to. Now I just want to quickly uh, just say if you guys try it like this just to get the number it's not gonna work. I mean the set text won't work like that. You need to have some quotations in there um, and then like a plus like that. Uh, so just make sure you guys um, are doing the actual the way that th this way with some text in there and quotations plus whatever our variable counter is so let's run the application real quick and make sure it works 
I'm gonna save it and run it quickly. Again, I had the emulator pulled up. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. All right, so here's our activity. Let's let's test it out. So if we click the add one button, it's gonna add one to our counter object, and then it's gonna reset this whole text each time. Our subtract works as well. So you know we can sell this application to your little brother for like ten thousand dollars and we're pretty much done I mean if we if we make ten thousand dollars off this app by selling it to your little brother we are golden alright well hopefully you guys kinda understood that tutorial for the most part again I know it's probably foggy and we're jumping into stuff pretty quickly but trust me we're gonna go back and kinda cover some of the stuff you guys don't understand but uh, thanks again for watching I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial